Welcome to a potential proof that 1 equals 2. We'll begin the proof by letting a equal b, where a and b are real numbers. So starting with the given information, again we have a equals b. So the next step, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by a. So we'd have a times a equals b times a. Well, a times a is equal to a squared. And on the right side, we'll use the commutative property multiplication and change the order of this multiplication. b times a equals a times b, and a times b is equal to ab. So we have a squared equals ab. Now for the next step, we'll subtract b squared on both sides of the equation. So we'll have a squared minus b squared equals ab minus b squared. And now we're going to factor both sides of the equation. Notice here, a squared minus b squared is a difference of squares. So this will factor into two binomial factors, where one factor will be the quantity a plus b. The other factor will be the quantity a minus b. And now on the right side, notice how the greatest common factor would be b. So we'll factor b out. So we'd have b times the quantity a minus b. Now in this form, notice how both sides of the equation contain a factor of a minus b. So now we'll divide both sides of the equation by the quantity a minus b. So on the left, we would have the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b divided by the quantity a minus b. On the right side, we'd have b times the quantity a minus b, again, divided by the quantity a minus b. Notice how we divided both sides of the equation by a minus b. And now we'll simplify the quantity a minus b divided by the quantity a minus b simplifies to 1, and the same thing here. So now we're left with the simplified equation of a plus b equals b. And we know that a equals b. So now we'll perform a substitution for a. Since a equals b, after performing the substitution, we would have b plus b equals b. Well, b plus b is equal to 2b, so 2b equals b. And for our last step, we'll divide both sides of the equation by b. And since b divided by b simplifies to 1, we now have what seems to be a proof that 2 equals 1, or 1 equals 2. But we know that 1 doesn't equal 2, or 2 doesn't equal 1, so where is the flaw or error in this proof? Let's go back over our proof and see if we can figure out where there's a flaw or error. Let's begin by focusing on this line of our proof. If a is equal to b, notice that a minus b here and here would be equal to 0. So this line is telling us that the quantity a plus b times 0 equals b times 0. Well, this is true. The quantity a plus b times 0 is 0, and so is b times 0. But just because we have two products that are equal to zero doesn't mean the non-zero factors are equal to each other. Notice down here, we have the quantity a plus b equals b, which again is stating that the non-zero factors here are equal to each other, which is not true just because the product equals zero. Looking at the next step down, notice how we divided both sides of the equation by the quantity a minus b, but since a equals b, a minus b is equal to 0. So we actually divided by 0 here, and division by 0 is undefined. So this is the step here that is invalid. Because division by 0 is undefined, we can't divide both sides of the equation by the quantity a minus b to get a plus b equals b. This is not true. So this is an invalid proof, as we expected, because we know that 2 doesn't equal 1 or if we want 1 doesn't equal 2. I hope you found this interesting.